People who knew what happened in uh, Apapa for 12 clear years, that city was under siege because of truck activities. And um, what that led to was many businesses had to relocate from Apapa, some landlords had abandoned their properties and became tenants elsewhere. Uh, Apapa became literally a wasteland because of what the port activities made it. And this is why there is this concern about uh, Lake Deep Seaport, which is coming up. The concern arose from just one vessel coming to that port and it was estimated that over 500 uh, trucks went there in search of. Many of them were not sure of what they were going to do. They were just looking for business and that was exactly what was happening in Apapa. Mm -hmm. So the problem is that there is no loading bay, no holding bay for any truck coming there to do business and that was the problem of uh, Apapa 2. So what experts are saying is that before anything is done, if it, before, before Lake, uh, Lake Deep Seaport becomes fully operational, some of these challenges that we've seen uh, in Apapa should be taken care of. Especially making sure that there's enough space for trucks that will be coming there to take or carry cargo or to look for business. What happened in Apapa really was that when the port was concessioned, most of the holding bays were converted into other uses. And trucks now became uh, the roads and bridges in Apapa became what we are, each of them uh, uh, we are packing and even loading. Uh, many of them staying on bridge for days, weeks, and sometimes into months. So people are saying that if enough arrangement is not made for Lakey, that same experience is what we are going to have there. Meanwhile, now real estate operators or real estate developers, investors are already having a field day in Lake because of some of those uh, developments coming up there, including the deep sea port. It's not a threat per se, only that there should be enough concern, you know, or what is possible. Well, if you talk about fear, I think. They have every reason to be afraid as it is now, especially with what happened last uh, two, week two weekends ago. It's enough to generate fear in their minds. If an adequate preparation or enough arrangement is not made to take care of their papa experience, opening that port or putting it to a full operation might be a very big problem. And you find that property values will continue going down. People will now start spending hours on traffic more than they are spending right now. The problem of Apapa was mainly infrastructure, but at the end of the day, it was found out that it was not even infrastructure, it was inability to control the movement of trucks. But there is hope. The hope is that Lagos State government is doing something in terms of uh, creating an alternative route for trucks and for other, other, other vehicles that if you don't have to come through Lakey Ekwe Expressway. You can now take what they call the regional road that will bring you out from near that port up to Chevron Drive. So if government has to actually maybe they have to do more infrastructure.